Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Tanelli here. Today, answering your questions on walk-up songs. You guys have been demanding that I answer this question for probably a couple of weeks now, maybe longer. Um, so, want to throw it up there for you. What we're going to talk about is kind of the process you go through to get your song into the hands of the team so that they can play it for you when you're walking up. Also going to talk about the different walk-up songs that I kind of had during my career. And we'll go back. First time I ever had a walk-up song was college. Um, I don't know if many high school teams do it, but college is the first time I was introduced to it. So I'll talk about kind of the songs I had there and then progress into the minor major leagues. So um, let's start back in, in college. We'll go through my list first. You guys can let me know what you think. You guys might not even know some of these songs. I mean, I'm getting kind of old now. So my first walk-up song was when I was 18, which was 14 years ago. And so some of you guys probably weren't even born then. But we'll see if you know what these songs are. So freshman year at Wake Forest, came in, and uh, my first song was Duhas by Ramstein. So first time I heard that song was in high school football, and I don't know, it just got me pumped up for football. So I thought I'd try it for baseball, first time ever. Um, I think it scared some people. If you haven't heard of it, check it out on YouTube. Um, so that was my first song. Second song, my sophomore year, I totally transitioned over to Tupac. I did Hail Mary, and that kind of set the stage for me having rap for basically the rest of my career. Um, so I did that sophomore year. Junior year, I did uh, T.I. Um, ASAP. So I did that junior year, and then I got drafted, went to Pro Ball. Um, and Pro Ball, I used a bunch of different songs um, pretty much every year you can change your song if you want. I didn't change every year, but I changed close to every year. Um, actually, my first season, we didn't have walk-up songs um, in Eugene, Oregon. We, we didn't choose walk-up songs. My second year, um, I used uh, Presidential by Young Bloods, which was my all-time favorite walk-up song. A lot of people, when I tell people that, they're like, what was your favorite walk-up song? I tell them, and they have no clue what the song is. Another song you'll probably have to check out on YouTube. Um, but the sound system that year was incredible. And so, you know, the music was really, they play it really, really loud. And um, just got, it got, you know, I don't know if it got anyone else excited. It got me excited. And I can remember that year, I would purposely, I'd sit in the on deck circle. And, you know, usually, you know, they'll start to play it. They'll announce your name and start to play it as you're kind of walking to the plate. So I'd kind of be in the on-deck circle, and then, you know, once I'd start to come up, I'd take my first few steps, and they'd announce my name and play it, and then I'd slow down, and I'd, like, take my time and let the song play and play and play, and I tried to get, like, 20 seconds out of it. Um, I don't know why, I just enjoyed listening to the song every time before I hit. Um, my next year, I used um, Warriors Part 2 by Lloyd Banks was my next one that I used. Um, the next year was uh, 50 Cent um, AO Technology, which was the instrumental version of it. I took that because uh, I'm a huge Boston Celtics fan, and they use that as their, you know, before games, they do like an intro video when they're doing their announcements, and they use that song. And I remember I was at a game, and I thought it was like the coolest thing of all time. That was back when KG was there, my favorite all-time player, KG and Pierce and Allen when they, you know, won the championship. Um, so I used that that year, um, and I always felt pretty good about my, my music selection. Usually during, usually I'd always be playing and I'd get on the first base. A lot of you guys ask what the first base been talked to you about, and a lot of times, like, I get to first base, and the first, first thing the first baseman would say was, man, that's a sick song you got going on. What song is that? So, uh, maybe they're just being nice and, and making small talk with me, but they usually said that. The other team usually liked my walk-up songs. Um... Now, here's the interesting thing. At this point, I started to get injured a lot. Um, so I didn't play a whole lot for like a year or so. I was out all the time. I missed opening day. Um, so typically, how intro music works is you're going to be put on a team, whether it's the major league team or a minor league team. And so when you get there, you know, couple days before the season, you usually go through some media stuff and, you know, obviously you get your uniform and your gear and all this stuff. You meet all the new people and typically they're going to come down a few days before opening day and they're going to say, hey, you know, what do you want for an intro song? They usually give you a day or so to think about it and then you got to get it to them. And all you do is you tell them the song you want and you tell them. Hey guys. What's up, buddy? Uh, I need a paper 
You need to do pee pee? Yeah. Okay, let's go pee pee. And nature calls. So, uh, okay, so typically you're gonna tell them, again, you're gonna tell them the song you want, you're gonna tell them when you want it to start. So, you know, put the song on at 15 seconds and play it till 22 seconds. They're gonna make sure that there's no like profanity or anything in it. Um, and then once all that checks out, you're good to go and you're all set and you don't have to take care of anything uh, from that point forward. They're gonna play it for you. Um, if you want a new song, you can always change it. There's some guys that, um, you know, are in a slump and they say, hey, change the song, put, put this song on for now on. Some guys give two songs and say, hey, can you just go back and forth, play one song one at bat, one song another at bat. So you can do a couple of things as long as you're not obnoxious with them and say like, hey, play, uh, play these six songs on Tuesdays and these six songs on Wednesdays and then this one when I'm, you know, after I hit a grand slam. If, as long as you don't do that, they're, they're pretty good with it. Um, so what happened with me is I got hurt and I missed opening day a couple seasons in a row. And so I didn't choose a song. And when I got to the season, there was one season I missed the entire season, 2000 and, uh, 2010, I think it was, I missed an entire season. Uh, nine, 2009, I missed like the first two months. 11, I missed the first two months. So like I went on a stretch there where my wrist uh, injuries were happening and my hand surgeries and stuff where I kept missing. So there was a few years where I didn't even choose a, a, a song. I'd get there and I'd get there in like, you know, May or June and, you know, all the songs were already in. And I was like, the last thing I'm going to do is be like, you know, here, I'm here after being injured and uh, here's my, play my song. I just was like, I forgot about it. I showed up, you know, 2011 was really my first time back in a long time. I missed a lot of baseball and, um, you know, I didn't say anything. They played some song. I don't, I still don't even know who, who the hell sang it. Um, I didn't even like the song, but I came out and I was hitting like 400 the first like month of the season. And I was like, screw it. Like, this is my song. I'm not saying anything. And I played the rest of the season, had a really good year. And from that season on, I never chose my song again. Very strange. The next season I went in superstitious and I was like, I didn't choose my song last year. I'm not choosing it again this year. Um, the only difference was that year I hit like two something and then I got injured again <laughs> and missed like a ton of time. So, um, and then... You know, then my career kind of started. You guys, if you you know you don't know about my career, I've go back and watch the video I put up probably about a month ago or so on why I never got called back up to the MLB. Um, but I just could never be healthy enough to play very long, and so you know I just kind of forgot about walk up songs. So I literally did it for like the first three or four seasons, and then just forgot about it. I let them play whatever they wanted. I wasn't going to demand anything because I wasn't healthy enough and wasn't around, and I was a little bit superstitious. Um, and that was it. So um, those were my main intro songs. I used, I think I used a few of them for multiple years and then, um, then just didn't choose one. From the time I got hurt in 2010, I never chose another intro song again until I was done uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, four years later. Um, that was it. So that's how, uh, that's how intro songs work. Um, hopefully that clarifies some stuff. It's a really simple process, not very difficult. Let me know in the comment section below what your intro song would be. I'm always interested. I will say this, um, early in my career, I did not mess around with intro songs. Like a lot of guys would come into the clubhouse and they'd just like be like, yep, uh, just play, uh, play Bruce Springsteen for me, whatever, you know, play, uh, whatever. And they just said, and I'd come in always and I'd like, be like, I gotta go home and I gotta think about this. And I'd go home and I'd play songs and I'd like envision myself walking to the play. Like, no, nah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So I was like really, really picky with it. You know, there were some guys that would like play like, um, I don't even know um, what some of the songs were called, but like the worst songs, like, you know, you know, Britney Spears, Hit Me Baby One More Time. You guys probably don't even know, you guys might not even know what Britney Spears is if you're really young, but uh, Britney Spears was like, when I was in high school, like Britney Spears was like, it was cool. Um, they play like the most ridiculous songs and I'd always think like, how can you walk to the plate and hit with this music? Like for me, at least at first it was really important. It was like, you know, I, I got, you know, you play, you get 600 at bats in a season. You know, I like something to get me a little bit, um, excited about. And so I, I was really particular with what I used, but some guys just didn't care. They just put on anything. Um, also, the other thing is you don't um, you don't get walk up music on the road usually, or they choose a walk up song for you. So we'd play at some places where they'd give you a walk up song, 
and they'd play the worst walk-up song of all time. Like, you know, you go on the road sometimes in the minor leagues. In the major leagues, they don't do this. But in the minor leagues, you know, they'd play, like, some, like, really girly song or, like, some, like, just terrible song or some song kind of making fun of hitters. Um, we played at one place where they'd pick, you know, they'd go through a list. They put a lot of time into it. And um, I don't know. I'm not really good with older music, but, like, I remember, like, David Freeze would get like, I think it was called like Freeze Frame was the song. And like they'd pick the, the songs dependent upon the players' names. Like they'd really like go through and like really think about it, which was interesting. Um, but I thought the funny ones were where they'd kind of make funny. They'd play like really, really bad, cheesy, terrible walk-up songs for everybody. Um, so that did happen on the road a lot. I think that covers it now with walk-up songs. So again, let me know what your walk-up song would be. I'd be interested to hear. Um, what you guys would use if you were playing. Um, be sure to subscribe to the, ch to the channel if you've not done so already. Like I said, leave a comment section below. Um, give us a thumbs up for this video. Like the video, we'd really appreciate that. Check out our Instagram, Antony Baseball, and our Twitter feed, Antony Baseball. Now I want to post some videos for you guys all the time. Uh, check out our website, AntonyBaseball.com. Uh, check out the description box below where I put a bunch of links to books and uh, training tools we use with all of our players. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much again. Keep writing in your questions. I'm trying to get to them, but we're literally getting like hundreds of the day. So I'm trying my best. I will talk to you guys later. See ya.